What's going on everybody? Welcome back to your daily dose of Brood War. We've got Rush spawning here in the top left. His opponent, Sharp, in the bottom left. Yeah, a little bit of TVT. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, boys. TVT. Where, where are my T boys at? Where are you guys at? Throw them up in the comments. We haven't done a TVT for a long time, but I saw that Sharp was playing versus Rush. I had to jump on it. This is a very recent ladder game here. Just a best of one, just a single match on the ladder, but the significance of this could be huge. I cannot wait to see who ends up taking this game. For those of us who are watching all the big tournaments right now who are really paying attention in the scene you know how big of a deal this could possibly be let's jump right into this i'm sure i'm gonna get some comments about how my terran versus terran knowledge is a little bit lacking but it's fine we're uh we're gonna do our best here guys and we've been been messing around a lot with brood war lately we've been playing a ton of ladder on stream of course we're playing zerg primarily we played a little bit of terran though too here and there terran versus terran is not my favorite matchup to play i find it interesting to watch but it is just a mystery to me similar to terran versus protoss i'm honestly a little bit baffled sometimes about how things are going with Terran versus Protoss, but we're, we're doing pretty good in our Zerg matchups, man. Um, just an update here. I actually made it to 1900 today. We, we, we popped up over 1900 for a little bit, which I was pretty stoked about. Uh, very, very solid games, putting out some really good, uh, some really good content on the stream. So definitely come check it out sometime. We're going to be working our way up to 2000, try to get into that a rank we can see it on the board now it's not too far away but we're putting in the hours and uh and practicing hard so eventually we will get there it looks like rush gonna get his scv in first and he threw the uh, barracks out in the middle of the map so he's gonna have a little bit of pressure here potentially it really depends on how many marines are built here by sharp looks like he built two he does go for the third marine so with three Marines, he should be okay. Because what Rush is hoping is that he'll be able to bank up three Marines. And then he'll come in here and kill the two Marines of Sharp. But Sharp here smartly making... No, he, he canceled the third Marine. Okay, that could be a problem. That could be a real serious issue. Because we got another Marine coming in here. However, we do have that Vulture popping out in a second. A bunker starts. He should be okay, though. He just pulls the SCV. The vulture will come, the marine will die, and this uh, this this bunker not really gonna do anything. So there we go. All right. So uh, you know what? In the end, a good trade here for Sharp. I'll say. I've never really seen this interaction play out quite like that before, with the bunker getting made and then killed. But I think that Sharp should be in a good spot. He's got an extra SCV because he killed one of Rush's, and he denied the bunker. So the bunker got canceled. That's going to cost him some money. He killed more Marines and he killed the SCV. Yeah, he's in a good spot here for sure. Uh, Rush's aggression did not pay off. He's going to have that command center just a little bit behind. It's still a very playable game here though. Very, very playable. Uh, it's all going to come down to the following engagements. We'll see who ends up tanking out first. It looks like Rush is going to go for the tank. Um, and we're going to get into another factory here for Sharp. So you might stick on Vulture for a little while here. Maybe go into Mines. Yeah, Mines is on the way. So looking to me like Sharp is going to take map control here early on. Sharp going to be able to throw down Mines all in front of his opponent's base and potentially take a little bit of a quicker third here. Uh, if that's the route that he wants to go. Okay, he is going to go for third factor as well. Kind of hiding that from the barracks right now. There might be an option to potentially dive in. Wraith is coming out as well now. Alright, I think he 
Might have seen that with the barracks. I'm not sure though. He's actually going to turn and move over here now. Yeah, he hasn't seen that quite yet, but he's about to see it. He has armory on the way already, so he's going to be fine here, it looks like. First Wraith is out, heading over towards the base. How far along are we with this armory? Armory about halfway complete. Should be able to finish constructing that without too much of a problem. I think maybe he might have to repair the SCV a little bit. Maybe he'll need to um, put a second SCV on there, potentially. He's trying to repair the SCV. It's a little bit unfortunate uh, the way that it's uh, drifting right now. Yeah, he's probably going to lose that. Yeah, he'll have to put one more on there. Okay, a bit frustrating here losing one SCV, but I think it's going to be fine. He will just hold position that SCV and repair. And you should be okay here. Goliaths are going to come out. Mines are in front of the natural. Lands the barracks in the main. I don't know what that barracks is doing there, but it is dead 100%, I think. Oh, one SCV kill. So he's actually killed two SCVs overall. He actually does need to go for a repair here. All right, going to get a third SCV. Not too bad for this uh, little bit of aggression here to start things off. Rush will be forced back now. And overall, I think ground control and map control is going to go to Sharp here. Sharp has those mines. He's got the Goliaths out. He doesn't have the tank count, though. So maybe Rush can push out if he clears these mines. He doesn't have any uh, commsats yet, but he's going to have them online here soon. He should have some pressure to start to push out on the map. It's just, uh, it'll it'll have to be a very calm and slow push out here by Rush. If he manages, if he actually accidentally walks into a mine here, it could totally flip on its head. Like if it, for example, if a mine connects on one of these, suddenly Sharp could run in and kill two tanks, right? If if two tanks get hit by that one mine, it drops their health very, very low. They, they go to like 10 HP or something like that. They could just flip in there kill a couple of tanks and boom you've got the tank advantage suddenly even though you haven't been building tanks this entire time now three tanks are out that uh scan does come down still more mines being laid down here but it's now rush's opportunity to start moving out on the map we do have speed finally being researched here for rush we don't have speed on the vultures of sharp just yet so he will be at a disadvantage in that regard. If we can, you know, run a few vultures around the map and maybe sneak in here, that could become really problematic. He does have pretty good mine coverage, though. Pretty good, uh, you know, vision all over the map. Sharp does. So that probably won't happen. Here comes those vultures, though. Where are they going to go? There's the ion thrusters that upgrade for vulture speed going to be kicking in here for sharp here shortly both players just bumping win i wonder if we're going to see a long game here out of these two this could be a very interesting map for tvt i haven't really seen like i, I said i haven't watched much tvt lately i really don't remember if i've seen any tvt on this map specifically i feel like i would remember that you can really split this map in half pretty darn easily here by just putting some tanks on high grounds um, and you know cutting off these areas the center of the map is really not that wide it's a little bit it's quite tall but it's really not that wide like this direction is a lot harder to cut off than this direction so we might see that get cut off there interesting putting the tanks on this side remember this is not high ground low ground so as long as you have vision over here these tanks will fire and they will hit on either on either side. It's not like they're going to be missing going up and down uh, high ground to low ground. So interesting position we found find ourselves in here with Rush having the higher tank count uh, with less map control in the early game is actually going to be able to take a pretty decent spot here in the middle of the map. Uh, he's really cutting off the options here for Sharp. If you get uh, I imagine if you get uh, tanks here and you get tanks here, how would Sharp ever move forward in this game? It would be really, really tough. He'll only be able to take three bases. 
And that's kind of what Rush is doing right now. Setting up a very nice position. He's killed all the vultures that were out on the map. And now it's kind of a struggle here for Sharp, who's actually going to unseize everything and go over here on the right-hand side. I think this is a good choice. He's got these tanks here defending. They're very hard to attack into. So he should be able to defend this side, and he should be able to break this, no problem. What's going on on this right-hand side, he should be able to break. There's really not a whole lot to it over there. Um, he's kind of reacting to the movement here by Rush, but Rush is just setting up a better containment on this side. A more difficult to break containment, but that's also leaving more space between this right-hand side and this left-hand side. And I really do feel that Sharp needs to leave what he's got here and just go and break this. Get over here, get out on the map, maybe start to set up the tank line this direction. You know, cut the map. Uh, left to right potentially rather than diagonal or rather than uh, or maybe diagonal rather than you know horizontally here he is starting to move now but unfortunately uh, rush has managed to reinforce this position so this army that was looking like it could easily break these three tanks i don't know if it can break five tanks with a whole bunch of vultures there and now six and seven are arriving so this is looking worse and worse uh, we don't have any upgrades yet for Rush, but here we go. Going to take this fight. Mm, this is not looking good for Sharp, man. Sharp is going to have a hard time breaking through here. Ooh, man. This is... Um, this is not looking great. Yeah. No, no progress here from Sharp. Really at all. That was kind of a rough trade, and you can see that it's left him at a pretty big supply disadvantage here. 20 supply disadvantage. Going to come forward and uh, get the SCVs repairing. But this is actually a double-edged sword, right? You're repairing your tanks, but because the SCV went forward, he almost lost that tank. As the, uh, the tank of Rush was actually able to hit that. Where's that floating building? He doesn't have it over this uh, wall here anymore. He should have had it there. Could have gotten some free shots on those tanks as they were setting up, but didn't manage to do that. And actually, the scan allows Rush to get a kill instead. That's a little bit rough. Like we've got Wraith play over here on the left-hand side. Two Wraiths of Rush going to come up try to deal with that. But there's two turrets ready to defend that. It's an interesting little position here. Okay, he's, he's going to start to push out once again. All right. It looks like Sharp might be able to break through this contain now. A lot of vultures fighting here on the right-hand side. Seems like Rush has more. Seems like he's got more vultures here. And yeah, he does. He is going to win this fight. You know, Sharp taking a little bit of space, but this is not looking good once again. We need some more, some more space on the map right now. We need to start getting down into this bottom right-hand corner. Rush is taking more of the map. He's taking more bases and continuing to tighten down this chokehold that he's got on Sharp. Who is getting into his macro. He's adding on a lot of factories, but look at this. Same thing for Rush, and the position is just better. It's just way, way better. Moves need to be made here. Gonna slowly slide forward. Oh, tanks are gonna come out. Get shelled here. Sharp, he's gonna try and bring some SCVs with this. Vultures as well. Targeting on the tanks is really important. He targets the vultures, unfortunately, there. Does need to target on the tanks if he wants to break a line like this. Vultures coming up here for both sides. Kind of starting to cut him out of this corner here. Maybe he can start to break through. But the trades have just not been very good overall. Of course, running into tank lines is never good at tra uh, a good trade. But now Rush actually going to try and make his way forward here. Maybe he can get up onto this high ground. If he gets up onto this high ground, it's just about lights out for Sharp. He's going to be able to at least stop Sharp from... Uh, having any tanks on that high ground and that makes a big difference 
Um, you're not you're gonna have to leave more resources here right now for sharp to stop any further breakthroughs um, Whereas you can just leave like two or three tanks here uh, As a defensive position you're gonna need to leave like four or five at least to defend this ridge line now Which is more of a pain uh, in the butt for sharp now. It's gonna start to land some SUVs here drop some SUVs on this dropship Try to bait the tanks to fire on them to get some of that splash damage going. But this is kind of desperation tactics right now for Sharp, who's just been almost edged out of this game at this point. He's going to try, I think, to break over here, dropping some SCVs on top of this. He's going to bait some of the tanks to kill themselves. Look at that. He actually kills like four or five tanks there with just SCVs landing. A brilliant move by Sharp. Well played by him. Now gonna break through here on the left hand side fully it looks like although there are more tanks coming up a secondary siege line has been formed very very quickly by rush and it looks like he's going to hold on to this left hand side once again he's still got four tanks here he can reinforce this position and he will do so very soon it's up to sharp to make another move here soon and it's gonna be costly Plus two is done for Sharp. This is a big timing right now. Plus two is done for Sharp. It's not done for Rush right now. This is the moment where he could potentially break out. But Rush is pushing in on the right-hand side now. While this is going on, Sharp is going to break this left-hand side. So we're going to have a big trade here. The right-hand side flank has been broken. But the left has been broken for Rush uh, on the other side. So here we go. We're going to push forward. There are some mines here. He's got to be careful. Got to get some scans. Don't want to eat any big mine shots here right at this moment. It's the crucial moment where he's going to be able to take map control finally away from Rush. But can he start to swing the game back in his favor at this point? Because Rush already has so much of the map. It's really, really tough to take this win here. But he is rolling through everything. Rolling up all of Rush's army. Again, not eating that mine shot. Really, really big there. Going to push right up over towards this mineral only expansion and he's gonna put the shoe on the other foot here rush is going to have uh, a big old contain right outside of his natural here it's gonna be very hard for him to break that but he is getting some pretty decent trades here another nice shot still no plus two here for rush that plus two way more crisp uh crisply timed from sh uh, sharp and he's taking big advantages here while he has that upgrade advantage he's continuing to push forward he will lose the dropship, unfortunately, but he may be able to take out this 12 o'clock base. Uh, he does need to reinforce this position, though. If he gets broken right here, right now, the entire position could reverse once again. Bring the tanks up. He's got quite a few tanks just sitting on the, the defensive right now. They need to be brought forward to bear here at this containment. The containment is so important right now. He has to maintain this position. Bring all the tanks. He's not bringing them up. He's instead dealing with this base up here, and he's losing uh, this containment position. Sharp, at the last moment here, he's got to bring everything together to try and defend this. He's only got... Okay, plus two is done, so he doesn't have any more time here with the upgrade advantage. It is now Rush, who is shoving forward once again. He has the scan. Maybe can he hold this? He does hold this for now. He should be able to get up here and start to kill SCVs. He is bringing vultures forward. More and more SCVs are getting killed, but more and more tanks are getting killed by these wraiths. And the, the position is looking a little bit fragile here for Sharp. He is going to get broken over at this containment. The containment was good for a little bit, but look at the supply. Oh my god, so much more supply right now for Sharp. He breaks the containment, but at what cost? Rush has lost so many SCVs, and his army is so small in comparison to what Sharp can field right now. He's going to lose so many SCVs in the top right. This is all the SCVs Rush has left. 27 SCVs has just dropped in a matter of seconds down to 21. He's got almost nothing left mining at this point, and I think that Sharp may be able to take this home. GG is called Sharp takes out Rush. Wow, what a reversal there. It was looking dire when Rush had that containment on both of these two sides. It really is a serious chokehold when you have these two large ramps. They are very large. You can move a lot of units across them, 
But when you've got that concave of tanks all the way around like this, it is so hard to push through. It is so hard to get across these. But Sharp did a beautiful job hitting his two one or his plus two timing. No one armor there. Um, although tanks do have one armor, but no plus one armor there. Just that two attack timing, managing to break through. Rush was a little bit slow with that. He was a little bit too focused on maintaining that contain, kind of as he should be though. You really do need to uh, continue to rally over and over and over again and make sure that you hold that position because that is the winning position. However, not having the 2-2 upgrade in time really hurt Rush here and Sharp was able to run away with things. It was looking a little dicey with the uh, containment there, uh, holding just long enough though to allow Sharp to take out these bases and critically to send vultures to each of these locations to deal with those SEVs and cut off the resource income of Rush. I mean, Sharp was getting very low as well though. You know, he really didn't have much resources left. He was out of mining in the main. The natural was just about mined out. Uh, this base is getting low as well. I mean, just this fresh a mineral only base is really all he was working with here. He needed to get this base online and Rush was kind of shutting that down. So, I mean, a very close game overall between these two. A really enjoyable TVT to watch. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. If you did, make sure to leave a like and that's it for your daily dose of Brood War. I'll see you tomorrow.